What does Satan want for you in 2020? Let's talk about that. Yo, what's up guys? This is Jeff from That Bold Life. We make videos just like this nearly every week to make faithful followers of Jesus and equip them to change the world. If that sounds like what you're looking for, do me a favor and smash that subscribe button and follow what we have going on here. Also, if you have questions about this video or the Bible, or you just wanna hang out and chill, I also stream on Monday, Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday over on Twitch. So go drop me a follow at twitch.tv slash Dr. Heels. So recently I put up this post on Twitter and I asked the question, what does Satan want for you in 2020? Sounds like an odd question, doesn't it? What does Satan want for you in 2020? We don't often think about what Satan actually wants for you. You see, most of us never think about what Satan wants for our lives. You see, if you are a child of God, if you are a follower of Jesus, if you have submitted your life to the Lord of all, then Satan wants something for you. He wants one thing and he wants you to fail. He wants you to fail at your mission. He wants you to fail at your ministry. He wants you to fail at life. He wants you to fail with your morals. He wants you to fail with your money. He wants you to fail with your eating habits. Satan wants to see you fail. And he's going to do everything in his power to make sure that happens. And and often we think that Satan's going to come into our lives and he's going to swoop down and he's going to break everything. He's going to mess everything up. And we look in scripture and that's not usually how he works. Usually he comes in and he whispers little lies into our ears. Look back at the Garden of Eden. Look at Adam and Eve. When he came as the serpent, when he showed up and he whispered into Eve's ear, that's not true. That's not real. If you eat that, it's just gonna make you like God. You won't die. What he did is he came in and he deceived. He came in and he whispered lies into her ear and and every day we're hearing those same lies whispered into our ears. That when you have a goal, when you have a mission, when you have a ministry, Satan is coming in and he's telling you you're ineffective. He's telling you you're not going to make it. You're not going to succeed. You'll never stick to it. You'll never hit those goals. You'll never make it. You're going to fail. Surely you can't move on. And sooner or later, you'll start to believe those lies. You see, Satan has a goal for your life. He wants to see you become lazy and tired and ineffective for the kingdom of God. Satan wants to see you fail. The enemy wants to see you sit down on a couch and become lazy and become ineffective and not to have any motivation or any will to move forward, but God wants something opposite. But the decision comes down to whose voice are you going to listen to? Who are you going to pursue? Are you going to pursue the efforts of the enemy? Are you going to pursue the efforts of Jesus? Are you going to lean in? Are you going to seek Jesus? Are you going to stick to the plans? Are you going to stick to the motivations? Are you going to stick to the goals that you had in the very beginning? I know it's going to become hard and it's going to become difficult and the enemy is going to be whispering lies into your ears. And he's going to be telling you, you can't and that you will fail and that you will fall short and that you won't make it. Do not listen to those lies. Instead, make 2020 the year that you follow Jesus, that you lay it all out on the line and you pursue him and you pursue his mission and you pursue his ministry and and you go all in with God this year. Make this that year and don't let the enemy win because the enemy wants you to fail. He wants you to fall short. He wants to see you sit on a couch and become lazy and become ineffective. He wants to see you waste the life you've been given. He wants to see you waste the God-given talents and abilities that you've been given. Don't let him win. You see, just as much as Satan has a plan for you in 2020, God has a plan for you in 2020. You see, we could follow the voice of the enemy. We could follow the whispers of the enemy that's telling us that we will fail, that we won't make it, that we won't make it past February, that we won't lose that weight, that we won't stick to going to the gym, that we'll close our Bible and we won't open it again. We can can listen to those or we can listen to the voice of God that is telling you, you've got this that I am with you always, that Philippians 4.13, you can do all things through me that gives you strength, that you can do all things through God because he gives you strength. You can sit there and you can listen to the voice of the enemy and you can let laziness and, and you can let that take over and you can take the easy road and you can do what seems fun in the moment. And at the beginning of the year, at the beginning of 2021, you'll realize you haven't accomplished anything you set out to do. You can follow that or you can put your boots on the ground, you can put in some hard work, you can wake up every single morning, you can open the Bible, you can open, you can hit your knees and pray to Jesus. You can actually take that time and do the things that sometimes you may not want to do and you can take that and you can follow Jesus. You see, because God has a plan for your life, a calling for your life. The question is, whose voice are we listening to this year? And so my prayer for you and my challenge for you is to wake up every single morning, regardless of what your other resolutions are, is that you wake up every single morning and you have a meeting with God. 
and you sit down and you open up the Bible and you read his word, whether it just be a chapter or a verse, but you give him a chance to speak to you and you give him a chance to speak into your life. The enemy is already whispering things in your ear. Give God the chance. Open your ears. Open your heart. Let him in and see what he has for you. I challenge you this year to get into his word, to get into prayer, to hit your knees and submit your life to him and see where you're at at the end of 2020 to see where you're at because if you follow God I guarantee at the end of 2020 you'll look back and be amazed at where he's brought you but if you listen to the voice of the enemy at the end of 2020 you'll look back and realize you're at the same place you were at the end of 2019 make this your resolution with whatever it is whether it is to lose weight to gain money to follow God to fall in step with his word and to seek him every single day and see what it does for your life take it one day at a time open up the Bible bow your head, go to him and seek him. That's my challenge for you this year is to see what happens, see what comes out of it. Because I guarantee if you follow God, you'll be amazed at where he takes you. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to subscribe. Remember, come check me out over on Twitch. Guys, I thank you for everything you do. I love you. Keep living that bold life. Oh, it's so hot instantly. It's so hot. Nope. <laughs> nope. My eyes are starting to water.